for the fans, it's a really good show. And for us, you know, obviously we're there to do a job and race, but at the same time, we can take in all the open ceremonies and hearing your name called through the stadium in front of 70 plus thousand fans. So for me, that's, you know, gets me amped up. This guy rides off of confidence. It's been a great ride for Justin Barsha so far. Justin Barsha on that 51 doing the privateer thing. How different is this for Barsha right now, Jeff, as he's getting used to this program of doing this on his own right now? I believe it gives you an attitude adjustment. The bottom line, I mean, think about it. Five years ago, Barsha was here, his first ride on a 450. He was riding factory Honda, had everything going his way. Really kind of struggled after some early wins in Monster Energy Supercross. So now, trust me, it changes your attitude on things. Moving up, I was on a, a good place on the 250 class. You know, I was uh, you know one of the best, and going in the 450 class came in pretty good. And the speed was there for sure. I was fast as anyone out there, and you know got wins and was on the podium a few times. Here comes Barsha, checkered flag. He wins his first ever Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship points race. It was awesome. I believe it was in Phoenix. Um, and I beat Villapoto straight up. So that was another night that kind of came easy to me and just got out front and did solid laps and you know beat the best in the world. So that was, for me, that was like a highlight of my career, getting that first 450 win. But uh, you know, it definitely wasn't, wasn't easy, but it felt easy that night. Do you see how loose it is all the way around that inside? The dirt's loose right now, but it's got a hard base. Yeah, 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 that's it's what just, you're saying. It's, it's kind of like slippery, yesterday. Yeah. loose on top of it, yeah. hard. Three, and inside, tight as you can inside, roll double. Roll double. It would be about the same, same time. And big to big, though? <sighs> now, either way, you're going. Yo, yeah, oh, that's a big to big, though. Yeah. Uh, I think some of the risks you're taking right now aren't even worth where the track's going to be when we're racing it. I mean, if you could do that, it's fast. It'd be cool to watch in practice. Like, you'd look cool. For me to stay, you know, where I was at last year, obviously, I don't want to stay where I was at last year. I want to get better. So, for me, that's, you know, putting the right people around me, which I have. Being on the Monster Energy Yamaha team, I, I know they are capable of winning. You know, there's so many little things that go into it, but for me, I have all the pieces in place, and I think the biggest thing going into Super Rust for me is just staying healthy and fit, and mentally, I'm in a really good place right now. So um, for me, it's just going out there and having fun and um, going for wins, and at the end of the day, if we're on that podium, we'll be fighting for a championship at the end of the year. So that's, you know, that's the plan for me. It is raining as hard as it has all day right now as we get ready for the main. Duck, love slaughter. 22 riders in the starting gate believe this is their year. I will be champion. Here we go. Anderson looked like he was going to go for the whole shot, but it's Dean Wilson, the privateer out front leading. Man, I mean, this track is so brutal and treacherous right now, Ralph. Looking like Bam Bam going to Size up the champ. There he comes. What a pass. Slides right up in front of Anderson. Barsh is right there. This is the first challenge Wilson has really had for the lead. 
I think Barsha's gonna go for it right here. Here's Barsha inside and a new leader. It was April 20th, 2013, the last time Justin Barsha stood on the top step of the podium, and that was in the Pacific Northwest in Seattle, Washington, picking his way through the mud with Roxon and Tomac, other title contenders behind him. Justin Bam Bam Marsha wins in the hive to kick off the 2019 Monster Energy Supercross season. His third career win comes on the biggest stage in the sport. The biggest thing for me is the never give up, never quit mentality. Also to have some patience and kind of you know, looking back at it now, just kind of go through the motions a little bit and let things happen. But at the same time, you know, ne never quit trying and never give up and, you know, just always work hard. And, you know, I, I had goals in my mind that I, I, to this day I still haven't accomplished. So for me, it, it was like I can't quit and live the rest of my life without, you know, going for those goals that I, you know, want to accomplish. I think I haven't won it since Seattle six years ago, so on, on the 450 class. So that's uh, that's pretty crazy. That could discourage anyone, I think. So uh, yeah, I mean, I've been through a lot the past couple of years, injuries, and um, you know, just in a difficult place with motorcycles and uh, wasn't having fun with racing. And to be, you know, I got the opportunity, like you said last year, and made the best of that. And uh, you know. Had a good outdoor season, went to Motocross Nations, and like was achieving a lot, a lot of cool goals. And uh, to get signed for two years with an option for a third uh, is awesome. And to get the win for those guys tonight is even better. It's just icing on the cake. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I think more than anything, I'm just super grateful for the the opportunities and to be here racing. And, and you know, I know I could have, you know, could have went a different direction. So to be here and get a win is unbelievable.